Okay, so I've been using Mac OS 14 Sonoma on my MacBook Pro that I'm using to record this video for over three months. And the more I use this operating system, the more I continue to like it. One thing I gotta say though is Apple, if you're listening, the individual that thought about adding the new wallpapers and live screensavers, that individual deserves a raise. If you don't believe me, let me show you what I mean by that. I just fight the fight of faith, I don't look away, I don't run away facing all of my This is actually so big. In fact, when you go to Apple's page about macOS and uh, operating system, it's the first thing that Apple mentions for this new update. You can see how these are standing breathtaking and in slow motion, and they seamlessly become your desktop wallpaper as you fade in. So to see them, if you go into your system settings and go to wallpaper, you You'll be able to see you have a vast majority of wallpapers right here and you can see we have some that are cityscape underwater earth and then you can shuffle between these for example under cityscape if i was to set dubai you can see how it just changes and looks good and this is under the wallpaper section so if you want to match your wallpaper to your screensaver then all you have to do is go to the screensaver section you can see all these that have the little live video or play icon these ones are live they are live screensavers and wallpapers and if you don't see this play icon then what you have to do is to actually download them first let's choose this one here the oregon sunset you can see if you click on it and it's not yet downloaded there will be this arrow or this circle that will download and now it's downloaded so if i go to where it says preview look at that it looks so nice this is actually 4k 100 and 240 fps per second and i did a video live showing how you can download these actual system files and put them on a usb stick or put them on a hard disk and be able to set them as wallpapers on your different devices be it your apple tv or your ipad or even if you have an old macbook that doesn't that doesn't support mac os 14 sonoma and you want to have these new screen savers and wallpapers well check it out it will be somewhere in the description of this video or on the card above if you saw my mac os big Sur video that i did when it came out officially i complained a little bit about the widgets because yes we had widgets on mac os big Sur, that's when they were introduced but the issue with those widgets was that they were basically useless you had to always swipe with your two fingers from the right side of your trackpad to the left and access those widgets widgets and you can see here with mac os 14 sonoma thanks to everyone that complained and requested for this we now have the ability to place widgets directly on your desktop and add your iphone widgets now this if you click here it will pop up this new widgets tab and it will tell you what's new with the widgets you can place them here and these are some of the mac apps that i have on my device which is the mac i'm using but most of these widgets are actually from my iphone for example you can can see here I have the Instagram widget right here and I don't have Instagram on my Mac I have this Govi that you know lights up my set I have the widgets for it and if you go to where it says all widgets you can be able to directly place multiple widgets on your desktop to show you as an example if I don't want to add this one, I can go down and look for another app that I have or widgets that I have on my iPhone. Like for example, this flip clock, it's really good. If I just click on it and drag it and place it on the center of my Mac right there, you can see it goes and is now placed in the center. And if I want to see the time, I can glance at it right there. And when the next minute comes, it will just flip over to the next. And you can also see the date and the time I'm recording this video. Now, with widgets, it gives you the ability to be able to set up your Mac how you want. And if you go to where it says edit widgets here, there's a vast variety that you can add. And this is all to 
thanks to continuity from the iPhone so if you go into your settings and go to where it says desktop and dock you'll be able to see that there's a new sub menu section that says widgets this is now here and you can see you can show widgets on desktop if you hide them the widgets disappear and show up if you say show widgets in center stage and you enter center stage they will be there but if you don't want them to show in center stage you can see them right there and you have the ability to choose different widget style so if you want monochrome you can see how they sort of are they blend into the screensaver and wallpaper rather and if you choose full color you can see how they pop out a little bit the style that i like to set is automatic right here and when you place on the desktop you can see they show the widgets right away and if you click again on the desktop or you go into an app then they automatically fade into the screensaver and wallpaper now video conferencing also got an update when it comes to mac os 14 sonoma so if we open up facetime right here you can see i'm using my phone this is my phone that you are seeing right here it's my iphone 14 pro and um, there's now video effects all thanks to this the existing video effects are there like center stage portrait if i disable portrait you notice the difference it gives you more controls as well and if you click on the arrow for portraits you can see you can choose the depthness or how how much you want to be able to isolate your background and the same goes with studio light you can choose the intensity of it make it really pop out and we also have reactions that we can do here with mac os 14 sonoma so for example if i do heart you can see it brings out the heart emoji if i was to do it from this location you know it will bring out the heart emojis from that side if i do thumbs up notice you get a thumbs up if i do thumbs up with two finger, two hands boom it's a party if i do thumbs down with one hand you notice there will be a thumbs down let me do with this hand and then you will see that it pops out on the other side but you get the point if i do thumbs down with two fingers like this this is how it looks really nice if i do peace you see there's this reaction it's like a party or something and if i do peace with two fingers look at this whoa celebration <laughs> yeah so these are now new functions that are here within facetime and anyone that has updated to mac os 14 sonoma can be able to check them out there's all these reactions that you see we still have this view and if you want to be able to share your screen and um, be able to do different functions you now have that option and also if you disable center stage right here you can see you have the ability to actually zoom out or if you want you can zoom in all the way and uh, be able to see the crisp good details that are here with this update here what i want to show you is if we want to create a web app on youtube you can see i don't have the youtube app here so because it's a safari tab i already did a test here but you can see when we go here and go to where it says share there's a new pop-up screen that says add to dock right there and when you add it to dock you can say let's say youtube 2 for now and then we'll save it and let's close safari for now and when we open it it launches youtube as if it's an application and you can see you basically can tell that this is the youtube tab that we saved from safari so you can do this with almost any website it gives you basically the equivalent experience as if you'd be using an app and this is something that's good speaking of safari if you open up safari and you go to where it says safari you can see now you have the ability to create profiles if it's a different individual that's using safari and you can see profiles allow you to keep your personal browsing separate from your work or school browsing and your history cookies and websites will be separated based on which profile you are using and if you start using a private browsing experience within safari then you would need a passcode as well to be able to access that now within macOS 14 sonoma there is a new level 
of gaming that has been introduced by means of game mode so game mode will automatically give top priority to cpu and gpu of your mac and lowers the background task in order to give you the maximum performance for your game that you'll be playing and this will actually result in better frame rate and user experience and the mac will automatically detect when you begin to play a game now a number of applications will be updated when it comes to macOS 14 Sonoma there's a bunch of apps that were recently updated for example the iWorks were just updated and also an other number of like productivity applications like Final Cut Pro and so on but one that I want to show you here is if you go into your launchpad and go to the weather app you now have the ability to see better metrics and you can see when i pull it here it shows you the wind speed as well as the direction and you can see the experience as well and some of the font has been redesigned giving it the ios experience in a way there's a lot more that goes along with mac os 14 sonoma that's here within this update but i just want to make this a short video and sort of a preview so if you want to get to see some other maybe one-on-one -on -one changes to safari to notes to settings that you might want to change then definitely hit that subscribe then you will stay up to date so that's about it for me guys i'll leave the video that explains how you can download these new screen savers and wallpapers that are here in 4k 240 fps in the description of this video and uh stay safe and i'll see you in the next one peace and I'm flexing, I'm lady, cause life is a blessing I'm currently counting my blessing Ascending for heavens, I'm headed away from the universe I'm coming back, not as human things Came to the touch, I'm a sinner, but not a beginner Though every day is a beginning I'm critically breathing, I'm dusty, I'm kicking my inches You nasty, I spit on your tennis Misery home, you Misery home, you I never liked you, and you never liked me Stay warm But nothing contagious, it's my anger Riding around in the city, I'm talking